Good morning, boys. Um, happy Wednesday. I hope you are having a wonderful day and that you're ready to begin working on biology today. So today we are Wednesday, boys, and we're going to be working on biology. And we are still in Chapter 5. However, today we're going to go over ATP and enzymes, which are page 92 and 93. So if you can please take out those worksheets uh, so we can review. So your worksheet should look like this. It says ATP on the top and then you have um, this picture right here. And then if we continue, your next page should say enzymes and it should have a picture like this. These are the two uh, topics we're going to go over today and then the questions that um, go along these worksheets. Okay boys, so ATP. Does anybody remember what ATP is? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Yes, good job. ATP is energy boys. Remember, when you hear the word ATP, they are talking about energy. Here in the bottom it says, ATP is sent all over the cell to help get things done. So we need energy to uh, move around, to want to have uh, that uh, urge, that eager to like do something. Because when we don't have energy, we don't want to do anything. We just want to be laying down in bed. We feel very tired. So that's why it says right here, ATP is sent all over the cell to help get things done. The body, our organis organisms need energy so they can work, so they can uh, move along or produce uh, things whether they're making us making the organs function whether they're helping our metabolism whether they're converting uh, carbs into energy it needs energy in order to be able to do all of that the same way we need energy in order to move in order to get things done so energy we everybody needs energy so now I'm gonna read and I just want you to follow along our questions will be based off this reading, so please uh, pay attention. That way you are not lost when you are doing the worksheet on your own. So I'm going to start. ATP is created in the mitochondria. It's the molecule that carries the energy from, the, from cellular respiration. It carries this energy in a bond. ATP is used to make chemical reactions happen in the cell. Once the bond is broken, it loses its energy. It can be it can then be recycled and turned into ATP again. So over here on our left side it says ATP is the energy molecule and we have this picture right here and it's telling us ATP is the molecule. It's an energy molecule, I'm sorry. It's energy. Every time or any time you hear ATP, just remember energy. It's the same thing. Same, same thing. And here, let's just go over a little bit of what we read. So we know that ATP um, is created in the mitochondria. So we talked about the mitochondria last week. We know ATP occurs there. That is where a energy is, um, is created. We know that the molecule carries energy from cellular respiration. We know that in order to have cellular respiration, we need energy. ATP is used to make chemical reactions happen in cells. So, like I said, sometimes we eat carbs and those carbs are turned into uh, energy and things like that. Okay, all of those things are called chemical reactions. You're changing one thing to another. And in order for those things to happen, we need ATP. Then it says, once the bond is broken, it loses its energy. 
However, it can be recycled and turned into ATP again. So it's just a cycle, guys, a cycle that is continuing and non, it's non-stop. Um, why? Because we need energy. So energy needs to be flowing and needs to be created at all times. Now we're going to be talking about enzymes. And here's a picture. And in the picture, on the bottom of the picture, it says enzymes are different. So they can control different chemical reactions. So we know enzymes, are they the same? No, good job. They are different. So let's read a little bit about enzymes. And it says, follow along. Enzymes are the main molecules that use ATP. So they're the main ones. These enzymes are the main ones that use energy. Enzymes are special proteins that make chemical reactions happen. So remember, ATP was another word for energy. So uh, another word for proteins is enzymes. They're special proteins. And look, they make chemical reactions happen as well. Remember, in energy, we needed ATP in order to create chemical reactions. Here, we also need enzymes. They often need the energy from ATP to do this. So in order to make uh, chemical reactions, they need energy from the ATP. They need ATP in order to make uh, things happen, boys. Chemical reactions happen quickly with the help of enzymes. Without enzymes, chemical reactions would happen too slowly and cells would die. So we need enzymes. These chemical reactions do many things in the cell, including cellular respiration. So we need enzymes because without it, re chemical reactions would take forever to happen and then the cells would die. Um, and those cells... Um, these chemical reactions do many things in the cell, including cellular respiration. So we're still talking about the same thing, cellular respiration. In order for cellular respiration to happen, we need ATP and we also need enzymes. And on the side to the right, we have a picture of a key in a lock, which says enzymes and substrates fit together like a key and a lock, like a, together like a lock and key. So they go together. So now, boys, we are going to take out the worksheet, um, our ATP and enzymes worksheet, um, so we can do some questions together. And this is what our worksheet looks like. We have uh, five questions. I will be doing one with you and you will be doing the rest on your own when you are doing this worksheet boys i need you to write uh when it is um open-ended questions i need you to write in a complete answer i do not want answers like i do not know idk or a question mark placed in there no that is unacceptable you must try whether you put in one of these words or you put a word from the, 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 these um, pages that we read, you must put something in there. Those words, I do not know, or IDK, or question marks are not acceptable. And if you uh, turn in a page, up, if you turn in this, that, this assignment with those words, I will send it back to you so you can fix it. Like I said, um, these answers are right here in these in this uh, these two stories we just went over, in these two texts. So if you have any questions, go back to the text and read it. You, if you need to reread it two three times, you reread it two three times. There's no problem. At the end, if you still cannot find the answer and you're still having a difficult time, please ask for help. We are always here to help boys, but I do not know is not acceptable. It is not right because there are many, many um, 
options you can choose from or you can also ask for help we are always willing to help you all that is what we are here for uh, but those answers are not acceptable so make sure that when you are answering you answer in complete sentences or you at least put the word correctly or any word if you do not know the word um, but you should ask for help before you start uh, guessing Okay, boys, so don't forget to write your name and the date. And I will be doing question number uh, number three with you. Let's change it up a bit. I will be doing question number three. And you can do the rest on your own. So question number three says, once a bond is broken, it loses its, its what? So let's go back. To our story. And let's read if we need to reread again. There's no problem with that. And it says ATP is created in the mitochondria. It's the molecule that carries the energy from cellular respiration. It carries this energy in a bond. ATP is used to make chemical reactions happen in the cell. Once the bond is broken, it loses its energy. So we just found our question. Once a bond is broken, it loses its what? Can anybody tell me? We just uh, went over it. Yes, good job. It's energy. Once the bond is broken, it loses its its energy. Good job, boys. So now you have four questions to answer on your own. Number one says, true or false, ATP is the energy molecule. Question number two says, what is the main molecules that use ATP? What is the main molecule? Is it A, energy, B, enzymes, C, water, D, fire? What are the two topics we have been talking about? ATP and what else? Number three, once a bond is broken, it loses its energy. We did this one together. So for sure, you should have one answer correct. Number four, enzymes and blank fit together like a lock and key. Substrates, humans, car carbohydrates, D, food. And question number five. True or false, without enzymes, chemical reactions would happen too slowly and cells would die. All these questions, boys, we read, read it in the, the two texts that we read about uh, ATP and enzymes. So please make sure you go back and you reread and you find your answers. All the answers are there. If you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out to me or Mr. Guzman. We are always here to help, boys. Once you are done, do not forget to submit it um, to Teams. And once you have submitted it, you are good for the day, boys. We will see you here tomorrow for your IEP goals. Bye.